everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome back to another texturing tutorial. Today we will learn how to create a V-Ray rubber material, which you can see here. Uh, you can see we've got some nice um, you know, granularity here. We have varying specularity and glossiness. We kind of have this sort of gummy, rough rubber texture. You can use it um, you know, in a variety of places, uh, whether it's for you know, the feet on chairs or you know, rubber components in toys, um, if you want to even use it. Um, you know, for outdoor things, you know, this could easily be uh, something you find on the handles of, you know, grilling equipment or, you know, shovels and such. So, um, really a lot of uses out of this. And you can change the color up as well. So, with that being said, let's uh, hop right into it. So, let me close this out. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is just pull up your material editor by pressing M on the keyboard. And just go ahead and create a V-Ray material. Now, what we're actually going to need to do here is create a second V-Ray material. Well, actually no we don't. Okay, so let's create one and go to your diffuse map. Let's actually make a, let's just drag on a noise map here. Okay, now double click here and let's make the size about one. Let's make it fractal. This will give it sort of more random appearance. And then we want to hold shift and copy this. Okay and then copy it once more. All right, so we have three different noise maps here. Now on the top one, let's go ahead and sort of make this you know, sort of a lighter color here, and maybe make this one sort of a really dark brownish color, something like that ought to do. And over here, let's go ahead and make it maybe a little lighter and give it sort of a another sort of off brown color just so we can get a couple different variations in our color here. Now for this one we want to make the blur at zero and actually for all these we want to make the blur at zero. This will give us less mushy rubber and sort of more hard rubber as it were. So now what we need to do here is make a mix map. A mix map. So you can just drag that out here from the maps and we're going to do color one drag this one to color two, and then use this as our mix amount, okay? So we kind of have something in the middle of the two with a bit more variation. And we're gonna drag this straight into the diffuse map of our main texture here. Now, our mix map, we can actually use that for both the reflect map, which you'll see sort of changes it, as well as the bump map. And the bump map, let's go ahead and bring that right up to about 90. And we can also use this one in the Reflect Glossiness slot to just give us a bit of extra highlights on the top and some uh, less highlights on the bottom. All right, and that's really all there is to it. Let's go ahead and assign that material we just made over to our ball here. And I'm just gonna render this out real quick. All right, and just like that, you have this perfect little rubber texture that you can use for you know kind of whatever you want. Um, so it was real quick, real easy. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, please make sure to check out my other texturing tutorials as well as my interior props uh, design tutorials. And also make sure to like and subscribe. And you know, please leave in the comments um, if you'd like to see a specific texture, I can try to recreate uh, whatever you guys give me. And I'm more than happy to do so. So with that being said, I um, hope you guys had a great time and I will see you next time. And as always, happy modeling.